What's good boys, ZG Shaggy here back with another video. In today's video, this is going to be a beginner's guide tutorial on the basics that you should really know about how to use your head and firmware to its fullest potential. And just the, you know, like I said, the pretty basics that you should know. So the first thing we're going to cover is how to enable HEN. I know it sounds kind of silly, but a lot of people have been asking me how you actually use the firmware and stuff like that. So once when you're on your XMB menu and you see the enable HEN icon, go ahead and select it. Now if it succeeds, it'll say uh, HEN enabled. If it fails, it'll restart your PS3 and you try it again. It just happens sometimes. It's not, it's not perfect, but it works. So once when you do that, we're going to go over how to tell if your game's a blessed copy or a blessed copy. And the easiest way, for me at least, is opening up Multiman. And so once when you open up Multiman, you're going to want to scroll all the way over to your games tab. As you see right here, mine is on retro. So scroll over to your games tab. And for this, I'm going to show you guys Grand Theft Auto. So once when you're hovering over your game, you're going to go ahead and press triangle. Once when you press triangle, you're going to scroll down to game settings. Select game settings. And right underneath, right underneath your game's icon, excuse me, you'll see uh, bless or bless. So this one is bless 01807. Now it's really important because a lot of mod menus for games, they're made for the bless copy or they're made for the bless copy. You know, B-L-U-S or B-L-E-S for bless. So that's really important. Like I know a lot of GTA mod menus are made for bless. And almost any mod menu, I can guarantee you that it's going to be a bless copy. So if it doesn't say it's bless, just assume it's bless and you could roll with that. Now the next game I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you Modern Warfare 2. Because Modern Warfare 2 is a bless copy. And just like I said before, some menus are made for bless, other menus are made for bless. Now, for Hen, most Modern Warfare 2 mod menus are made for bless. I do have a video on my channel that shows you how to convert from bless to bless if you're in that situation. And I have a video for GTA. Now, next thing I'm going to show you, this is uh, the third option. Not the third option, but, you know, the third thing we're moving on to is I'm going to show you the proper settings for your games. So, like, let's say you copy the game from your disc on your PS3 and it's not working. You're getting a black screen or it's closing or you're getting an error. This is the reason why. So, select the game that's not working for you. Triangle, game settings. And once when you're in game settings, we're going to scroll all the way to the left underneath the game icon. And as you can see, you'll have game disc, internal, external. You'll have a bunch of other options. Now, if your game is on your PS3, you copied it over from your disc or you copied it from a USB. You, these are the two settings you want. You're going to want internal and you're going to want BD mirror. Internal just makes the PS3 think that the game disc is actually there. So we want internal and then BD mirror, it simulates or emulates, simulates, whatever you want to call it. It uh, emulates that the, like, the game is in your Blu-ray drive. So we want BD mirror. Now, if you're running your game off of a USB, you don't want internal. You want external. So you can go ahead and deselect internal if you haven't already. And you're going to select external, BD mirror, and USB patch. USB patch is where like you can get the game updates off of your USB from the game. You always have these settings selected. So like I said, if it's internal, you want BD mirror and internal. If it's external, like on your USB, you want external, uh, BD mirror, and USB patch. The next thing that we're going to be moving on to is where certain files should go for your games. So let's say you're trying to install a mod menu. I'm going to show you where the files go. So you'll see the files in your USB. I don't have one plugged in. So you can copy certain files to uh, certain places where they need to go. So for example, nine times out of ten, you're going to copy them to your game folder, right? You're going to copy the, for GTA for instance, it's going to be the update.prf file and the eboot. Eboots for a game always go in the game fold. You go uh, dev underscore hdd0 game, your game region code, and then usdir. That's where your eboot's going to go. You always place the eboot in the usdir file, right? Once when you've done that, you can go ahead back out to where you're at the dev underscore hdd0. And here's where you're going to put sprex files. These are like the actual menus. So to place a sprex file, you're going to go to tmp folder, and as you can see, I have tons of Sprex files in here. I have tons of menus. I have menus for GTA, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, and a couple of other games. I really can't remember. But this is where Sprex files go. 
Now, if there's any confusion whatsoever, you can leave a comment down below and I'll help you out. It's super simple. Now, one of the last things I'm going to show you, or we have two more things after this. We're going to exit back to the XMB menu. Now that you're back at the XMB menu, I'm going to show you guys how to FAT32 format your USB. So to do that, you're going to need your computer. And then you will be able to start installing package files and games and stuff like that. So I'll see you guys over on my computer. Once when you guys are on your PC, the first thing you're going to do is plug your USB into your PC. Once when it's plugged in, you're going to open it up. So mine's right here. Mine's PS3 Hen. This is my USB I use. And normally what you're going to do is you're going to go into Format. And you're going to select this drop down window and you'll see X32, or not X32, excuse me, FAT32 format, right? You're going to select it. Now, the thing with FAT32 format is it only works for USBs that are 32 gigs or lower, right? So, as you can see, mine here is, it says it's 57, but it's a 64 gig USB. Now, you guys are probably wondering how I'm still able to get my USB to work. It's pretty simple. There's this program that allows you, it's right here, that allows you to format your USB into FAT32 format, no matter how big your USB is. It tricks your USB into thinking that your USB is FAT32 format, so it works other file systems, right? So if your USB is 32 gigs or lower, you're just going to select the drop-down window right here, select FAT32. Once you do that, just press start. Now this is going to erase all of your data off your USB, so if you don't want to lose it, just go ahead and make a folder on your desktop, drag everything into that folder and you're good to go then you can fat 32 format now if you're like me and your usb is bigger than 32 gigs go ahead and open up this program i'll leave it linked in the description below when it decides to finally open go ahead and select yes because it has to run as an administrator don't worry it's not going to harm your computer so go ahead and press x and it's going to bring you to this little page right here select whatever letter drive you want leave the allocation unit size alone don't touch it and then label it whatever name you want. So I'm going to leave mine PS3 hen just so I know that this USB is from my PS3 as I have a lot of USBs. Uh, fat, or quick format will be selected and you're just going to go ahead and press start. It's going to warn you it's going to erase all of your data. So again, move it. If you don't care, just go ahead and press OK. Now this will only take a couple seconds and as you can see it's done. Now when you open it, I'm not 100% sure if it's going to say it's FAT32 format. We're going to go ahead and check it. So we're going to go to properties. Okay, and as you can see, file system, FAT32 format, your USB is good to go. You can go ahead and load whatever games you want on it or whatever package files you want, any menu, stuff like that, and it's good to go. Now, for custom firmware PS3s, and I'm not too sure about HEN, for custom firmware PS3s, your USB could, your USB could be in NTFS format, but just for this video, this is a HEN video, so we want it in FAT32 format. Now that that's over, you can go ahead and plug your USB into your PS3 and you can safely move all of your files from your USB on your PS3. And uh, I'll meet you guys on my PS3 just to close off the video. Now that we're back on our PS3, what you're going to do is you're going to plug your USB into your PS3. And once when it's plugged in, it's safe to install package files. So we're going to go to package files, install, and standard. Standard is where your USB files are. Now, I don't have anything in here just because you guys saw me fully uh, wipe my USB and FAT32 format it but yeah this is where you're going to install everything at for your USB it's really simple and it's really easy I hope this you know tutorial helped you guys out let me know if you guys want to see more like beginner guides type stuff I have a couple more episodes planned for this so you know if this video gets a decent amount of support I'll definitely make another video on it follow up like part two or whatever so in part two, let me know if you guys want to see anything specific. Let me know if this helped you. If you have any problems, please let me know. And if you could, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.